Hi, this is Andrea Kenner. Today I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot and then place a pointing finger icon on top of it. You can use this technique to point out specific places on a screenshot, but you can also use it to place any small image on top of a bigger one and then merge them together. To get started, you'll need an image of a pointing finger. I like this one. I found it on the web on uh, clipart.com. It has a nice clean look to it and also has a shadow behind it. It had a white background and to do this tutorial I changed the background to gray. There's a really nice tutorial I'm going to give you a link to that you can um, do this for yourself. Another thing you could do would be to change the background to transparent. But for now I'm just going to use a gray background to match the gray background of this print dialog. And this is the picture I'm going to take a screenshot of. So um, to get started what you need to do is first take the screenshot. If you were using a PC, you would do this with by using the Alt and Print screen print screen keys together. But since I have a Mac, I'm going to use the Command plus Shift plus four keys. So you, you press all three keys at once, and and um, when you do that, what happens is you get a little crosshairs like this one here. And I'm going to take the crosshairs and I'm going to drag it over the edges of the picture that I want. So I'm going to get to, right to the edge here of this print dialog pull it all the way down to the bottom and when I get it to the place where I want it I will just let go and as you heard there's a little camera sound that the Mac makes and it tells you that there's a screenshot now as you can see right here it's created a screenshot and put it right here what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open that screenshot in Photoshop so here it is in Photoshop and now I'm going to get rid of the background picture so it's not going to confuse you when you've got two copies of the same thing. So here it is in Photoshop and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Photoshop's place command and I'm going to put the image pointing finger.png on top of it. So how you do that is you go up into Photoshop and you do file place and then you grab the image so it's pointingfinger.png I click that here and then I click place and it just puts this gigantic image of the of the pointing finger it's full size so what I need to do is make it smaller so that it fits in the spot that I want to put it so to do that you have to have to press the shift key and hold that down and then you grab one of these arrows at the corners and drag it so that's approximately the size you want and that looks pretty good so now I'm going to let go of the mouse, the mouse button and then let go of the shift key. And if you do it in that order, you don't distort the size of the picture. So now I'm going to take that image and I'm going to slide it. I have to get rid of that little target in the middle. I'm going to slide it over to where I want it, which is right underneath here. And you know, it's a little too big still, so I'm going to size it down some more. Grab it, um, click, press shift and then click the mouse button and that's a pretty good size so I'm gonna let go of it now um, maybe move it just a teeny tiny bit so it's directly under the button that I want to illustrate And now I like the positioning so I'm gonna double click on it and that merges it with the picture behind it now if you look over here what you've done is you've added a new layer to your your Photoshop file but I want to save this image for the web and I also might want to put it into a document so I want to save it as a PNG that's the file format. So I'm going to go File, Save As, and then I'm going to select here PNG and click Save. And you can see I've got the new screenshot right here. And then I'm going to open that with Photoshop. And you can see that the image now has the pointing finger in it. I hope you'd enjoyed this little tutorial today. I would like to tell you that there's an easier way to do this also. If you download an application called Snagit, it has a feature in it called Include Cursor that puts the cursor in there for you and you don't have to do it yourself. But it's good to know how to do this in case you need to put any picture, two pictures together. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and have a great day.